Hello guys, welcome to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I will demonstrate you the working of the project Arduino Wattmeter. <coughs> so here, I have the setup and I am going to power it with an RPS, that is this one, and the load will be this bulb. So we will measure how much power is being consumed by this load, that is a light bulb. So let me go ahead and set the voltage to 12 volt and the current limit would be 1 amps for this circuit so this circuit is designed for a voltage rating of 0 to 24 volt and a current rating of maximum 1 amps if you want to know how the circuit is designed or if you want to increase the voltage value or the current value then follow the link in the description of this video which will give you a complete explanation of the circuit along with the code in this Arduino so now let me go ahead and power the circuit so once I turn it on, it shows Arduino wattmeter with this thing and as you can see the RPS also displays the voltage in the current that is being consumed 12 volt and 665 milliamps and the LCD also shows somewhat close to that value it shows 11.8 volt and 66 milliamps so sorry 660 milliamps we have a resolution problem there but it's okay it's more or less close to the actual value and the power is also calculated and it is being displayed as 7.8 watts now let me change the value of the voltage let me decrease it to 8 volts maybe so as I have decreased the voltage here the current consumption has also decreased and the voltage value has also changed to 7.58 which is almost close to 8 volts now let me go ahead and increase the value maybe to 20 volts so that the current consumption is also increased as you can see the meter shows 20 volts and let me cover the light bulb so that your reading is visible and 869 milliamps and here it shows 20.6 volts with a current rating of 0 0.870 milliamps so which is almost equal to the actual value you can tweak the circuit a bit more and calibrate it to get the values which gets a much much more closer to the actual value so that's it guys this is how the project works hope you understood it now uh, as always you can find the code and the circuit diagram for this project in the link given at the description of this video thanks for watching